back in fifth grade when I was growing up in Weymouth, uh, we formed a student government in social studies class and some kids ran for president, other kids ran for the student senate. I opened up my own newspaper. It's the only thing I ever wanted to do and uh, oddly enough, uh, the only place I ever wanted to do it was at the Boston Globe. When you're writing a Metro column, it's unlike any other position at any newspaper uh, because you are really you're right there with the readers. My you know, inbox is filled every day with emails from readers. There, I get phone calls from readers. There are tips. You know, in some way, if you're doing the job the way you should be doing it, you matter to them. You're either getting under their skin or you're you know, getting them behind you, behind some cause. And you know, it's really um, it's a unique relationship that a, that a columnist develops with the readership. A good day is when I can get right to the heart of something with a, a strong opinion, when I can you know, put the lie to a politician, when I can find this human interest story out there of somebody who's gotten screwed over by the system. I love telling their story in print. There's nothing better that day than to, to, to right a wrong or to expose something that's fundamentally flawed. That's when it's a lot of fun. My name is Brian McGrory. I'm a Metro columnist for the Boston Globe.